on with what we're doing today. We're going to do, do you remember we said roundabouts, was it? Yeah. Not roundabouts. Um, do you remember the end of the last one, there was something, there's something went a bit wrong at the end, just before we pulled up. There was one about 20 minutes before the end and then the sanding happened. So if you want to set up and turn on, it's a bit too warm. It's going to be quite muggy today. There are supposed to be big thunderstorms in about an hour and a half, just so you know. <laughs> uh, so if that happens, we might change what we're doing, but um, it should be okay. Okay, turn on. What do you need before that? Well, you can turn on, what do you need to do? Yeah, which key do I do? That's it. Oh, first. Oh, that neutral. That's it. So you leave your parked in one, but you turn on mm -hmm. neutral. Ah, That's okay. It. So you leave in one, so it won't roll the way. So if the, if the car handbag fails, you won't roll back. But as soon as you get in, you take it out and put it in neutral. I'm lifting one there because it's quite a big hill, so I don't need to roll backwards. When? That clutch comes right. Right, okay, sorry. It's just if the aircon was a bit warm without that. So the roundabouts, do you remember the end of the last one you saw when, not the wrong bar, but you turned, we shouldn't have turned, or we didn't say turn. Oh, yeah. Turn left. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, so I don't know why I did that, actually, that's uh, strange, yeah. We're going to go back over there now and look at that, and then there's the other one on the way where we had that. Um, do you remember the other one, because I don't want to say this. Too, but there's out of the road where you almost went the wrong way. Do you remember that? About 15 minutes before the end, I think it was. Mm. So we go around the house, a bit like this one's going up a big hill by a housing estate, a housing area. And what was in the middle of the road? Because we pulled up and went over this, I think, at the end. I can't, I can't remember, sorry. Do you remember that one with the arrow, the white arrow pointing left? Oh, yeah, that and one. then I went, I tried to go that's right. It. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's going to come in today because that's what we're doing about on the way over there. Um, we're going to actually do that on the right action with two, we just mentioned there. Uh, from the other way around, there'll be, but it's the same sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So it sounds obvious sometimes, but you're looking ahead of you now, like with these driveways and whatever. How do you know if that's actually a turn? Like, say, if, if you're going ahead and there is a turn on the left, how would it normally be marked? Um, there should be white lines on yep. the floor. Because the other one, I think there were, I'm pretty sure there are now, so if you cross white lines, what must you be doing as you cross them? I, sh I should have been. Indicating. Yeah, that's it. So generally you see now because you change in direction normally. It doesn't always work, there's always exceptions. But this road now hasn't got a line for example. But if you're going to go around that parked car, you don't normally indicate then because it's fairly obvious you're going to go around. Mm -hmm. But normally you would see not to go over the line. So two topics today are um, the big roundabouts and probably the other one I don't want to mention because I want to say what that is later on. If we get to do that. Okay. But that will come in with what we just said, it all ties in together. So. Do you carry the smaller roundabouts? I think so. Yep. Yeah. Because that one was pretty good. Well, uh, yep. I think they were going to say. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, pretty good. What score do you give those out of, uh, out of 10? I was going to say out of 5. <laughs> out of 10, with 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. Um, maybe a 7 or 8, I think. Yep. That's yeah, pretty good. good. So they were pretty good there. Um, what could you do to get it up to a 9, do you think? Um, I think so sometimes when I approach the roundabout, like not all the time but just sometimes I wasn't I wasn't sort of giving myself enough time I think so I should have been doing things earlier so that I was like in the right gear and things like that before yep. I do the roundabout yeah we'll have a look at that today because that's going to come in with the big ones um, so let's get moving for a bit we'll, we'll set the uh, we'll do the brief now when we get there because I'll take a while to go over so most of it I'll leave it to you then because we don't kind of score on a roundabout you should be okay with most of this on the way um, we're going to go and do one on the way, which is quite, um, what should I say, it's quite busy. So <coughs> it's a little bit harder sometimes to pull out onto the roundabout. But I'll help it out a little bit because it's a harder one. But then I'll, the others I'll leave up to you okay. on the way. Because there'll be some you haven't seen before today. Well, so let's go again. So it doesn't pull too hard. It's good there because like I said, I'm not going to roll back with that kind of clutch. But if it's too high, you can jump as you go. Just trying to avoid that looking down as well. Yeah, so the larger roundabouts are both easier and harder because parts are easier, parts are harder. Um, yeah, maybe I need to work on the sort of. Sometimes I thought I could go. Yeah, that's said I couldn't go. yeah, that's why I'm doing easier because on the big ones you get more space. That's what makes them easier. What makes them harder is you get more lanes and things like that because we haven't really dealt with the lanes much today. So, end of this road will go left. There's a few different roads because we've been the other way before, so it's not much for this road. So, I won't say much, it's up to you. I'll only help if I need to. Oh, sorry, that was a bit 
posh, I think. So. That's okay. We don't bother about the tiny jump back there, it's fine. That's pretty good. What would be bad there is if you got first. Now that was a little bit early, but not too early. But if you got it much much earlier than that, then it bangs or whatever. That's really typical. Okay. Like say if you got one this speed. Yeah. Really bad. So this time it's going to be end of the road left, but then follow that road because in the past we've always turned off after the road down left and left. Did that a few lessons back? Okay. So left and then follow the straight. Okay. If I don't say follow ahead, that's easy for idea because I just won't speak if you go dead. That's good, that's fine. Dag pulled in, so that's fine. That's good. That's good. Just that little bit quick, it's pretty good, just to slow down that little bit. Because a lot of times when you say you're doing it too early, whatever, you're not, that's so good. There isn't always something wrong, you see, there we look for anything that's wrong, but um, that's one of the drawbacks of the test, is you get used to being marked down, because mm. you don't get marked up on test. So, so, what's happening there? Um, so it should be slower, I should it. be about 20. That's okay. good. Just to help on this, because it's quite the awkward part I was talking about, you can get two cars through here, but it's quite tight. Mm -hmm. So, how much left could you move? That's good. Actually, that needs to get the first one. That worked out well, but you can get two cars through then. So, round about ahead. I won't help to begin with, but I will if there's any trouble because it is quite busy. But straight. straight on, where are the lights are. What do you think on the approach? Can you go? Uh, no. No. No, can we? Just watch you don't go over that line a little bit because you're kind of creeping out a little bit too much. But can we go now? Oh, yes, I'm going. That's it. That was going because you crossed a little bit high. Good. I mean, that's that car behind the left there. That's what's that's so about the car on the left lane. There is only one lane we've really far left. So you know, now kind of is that car still behind? Uh, no, it's still because it's pulled up on the bird on the curb. So braking. Could you carry after the bus or give us that truck? Mm -hmm. That's good. I think I should stop. That's good. This car's nearly always here, it's really in the way, but anyone overtaken? Then I can go now. Yep, that's good. That one I wanted to talk through because that's how you should have the roundabouts because the roundabouts you're going a little bit too early. So you saying that before you've got to kind of roll up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So what is, we're going to have to look at a few of those before we go any down to the big ones. If this railing on the left of the back one, if that was a roundabout to start at the end of the road, you'd be rolling up virtually stopping about here. So it's much, much earlier. Okay. Especially now because what's going on behind us. There's a car very close yeah. to me. Is it a car or is it? Uh, sorry, van. Seven. So you will be van. I only mention that because if you notice a van, it can react differently. Like, you know, vans generally don't bike as well as cars. Can't bike as well. So this one, there's going to be a roundabout on the top of the hill. Because of the hill, you probably won't need to bike, but you may. It depends on what van does. So quite a bit of power. So if you slow down too much, you struggle. So just oh, keep yeah. down quite a bit. That one, you don't slow down on the hill. So you have to drop down to which gear now. That's it. So I'm going to stand on the side. I'm going to stand on the side. Oh, what's energy? Just too much gas. So there's no pedals at all. Just let it roll. And it's clutched down all the way. One. And just creep. That's it. It's around about and go left to first exit. So this is the kind of, I know this is slow because of lights, but that's the kind of approach you want. So left signal goes on. A little bit of gas. And then where can you go? Now. That's good. That's good. So, yeah, that band's been very aggressive behind, but on the hill all it was you went second and left the gas down, so you got like a bit of wheel spin when you came up. Okay. I just braked temporarily because you put some lights on, because you slow down a bit, if you don't brake a touch, people don't expect you to slow down. But now that van's gone, it should be a little bit easier. So what it's all about is, on the roundabout, what do you always plan to do every time? Um, but, you want to go. Yeah, but what do you plan to do? You're gonna, you're probably gonna have to stop. Yes, yeah, so that's it. So you want to go, but you want to plan to stop. So this one, we're gonna go ahead, which is a second exit. So tell with you, so we're breaking a lot. Can't see much. What do we do? First. That's it. That track, breaking, breaking, breaking. That track is helping it. Whatever it is. So roll, but assume the worst still. Can we go? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. 
That was a lot better. You slow down, you don't see it. That's good. And that's not bad, but why don't you have to look out there? There's no value. That's, that's good. So, not so much that, what kind of roundabout is that? It's very small. That's it. So, many ones you don't have to, but it doesn't matter if you do, that's not wrong. What's the next big danger here? Breaking a bit of a line, breaking, breaking. Um, got the narrow. Yeah, narrow road, stupidly white car. So, we're going to roll through. The red one's fine, but that one's too wide, the white one. Okay. So, the bridge really narrows the road. That's good. Yeah. You can tell from that the bridge is hard to even see because that brick wall is like a bridge. You can see from now the cars coming towards you now, their tyres are all on the other side of the road. Um, but that car, the white car, its tyres are on our side of the road. So, we haven't been here before, we're looking over the hill, what's coming up in a moment. Um, roll roundabout. Yep, that's it, so left first exit. Okay. How good's the view? No. Nope, so oh, sorry, not very that's good. That's it, slow, slow, slow. We're trying to. That's it, he's going to block maybe, she can, can we go? Yeah. Yep, that's good. Bit of breaking, but I'll break it, break it, break it. Then can we go? This is a good practice though, because until you can see, you never accelerate too much. I didn't know that line was there, but I know. Can we get through this gap or not? Um, no. Yes, that's good. yes that's we can. That's we can. It. But you write that for definite before you get through. Because if you think about third, you don't have sure. <coughs> It'll be too early. Okay. But we'll just, that's good, that's it. That's good there because it's open, nice open view. So that's what roundabouts are all about. You want to go, but you never plan on going ever. You always plan to stop every time. If you plan on going, you won't last long because then you'll come up smash. If you also plan to stop, it's much, much better. Because then when you can, so when you see a chance, you just lift off and off you go. Mm -hmm. So I know, probably not, but that car, well, it's quite slow, you could swerve or whatever. You always expect anything could go wrong. That man got in the van on the left there, maybe he's going to play. Maybe not, but maybe. So going on the trial one again, the one where it's quite tight, it's a little bit easier from this right though, because it's not such a bad angle. So at the very end of the road where the lights are, we're going to turn left. Okay. So I need to be in this lane. What did I do before, before I get here, before I the mirror, then what? That's it, it's no gears down here. So brake clutch, no gears down here. So slow down, wait, stop, and what? So no rush to the gears at all. You don't need until you're going to go, so you can wait, wait, stop, and then do it. If you didn't the gear back there and you're not signalling, no one knows where you're going to go. Okay. I know this one, you, you should only go left, but people don't. People go right ahead and all sorts. It's like now, we sort of wait till we're around the corner. It's good looking right as well. We think, is the view good enough for a second? Yeah, no, yeah, I think that's good. Do you think the light's going to change or not? Uh, no. No, so I think good. That's it. But if anyone was standing there or whatever, you wouldn't bother with me. Okay. So that's not too much. I can't see the speed out, but that's just something I always have to keep in mind. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's a bit high. So next roundabout, we're going to go left first exit. Ignore, not this one, but ignore the next bus stop. The bus stop on the floor doesn't mean you're not that. It doesn't mean you can't go in. So mm -hmm. ignore that, because people often try and avoid that. So look here, how late could you leave again? Not yet. Because it could be two, could be one, what do you reckon? Mm, now one. That's good, that's think. it. That's good. So you could have done one earlier, but it's much better to wait. Can we go? I can go now, that's that's can't that's I? That's <laughs> okay, so left again. So you could stay in one because you can't see how much at all. No point changing up. So you're looking quiet, but don't be to see by that. So when can we go? Yeah, we can go. That's good. That's great. It's good you haven't changed up as well because that's, uh, that's about leaving the gear later. Um, we're in first. That's, that's, that's good. That was good. On. That's fine because you have to stop, so that's good. That's what I say about you don't have to change up and down all the time. Our like, two's good, but is there any need to get three now or not? Uh, no, I don't think so. So you don't have to, you could, but there's no real need because if she just cross, what could happen now? Then the lights yep. could have changed. That's it. So they didn't, but you never know. That's why I was waiting. It's like even here it sounds louder, it doesn't matter, you got the bus, you got the bend, you got the van. So the gear is the least important thing. Okay. I don't like these. Um I feel like I'm going over them badly. Now, these are good. If you go like that, that's spot on. That's as good as you can get. It sounds bad, but you'll feel it less if you go quicker. Because if you go 30, oh. you won't feel it. Okay. So if you position well and do that at the hill, you'll feel it, but you won't feel like a bump. Oh, yeah, so, okay. That... Like now, Jimmy Ford said, don't slow down. But that's good. So lots of gas, keep going. That's good. Whatever you do, don't slow down. If you do, what happened before? Like, you I, get I just couldn't get up the hill. That's it. <laughs> That's good. Not good. So the field farm you do that, they're designed to go over that limit. 
bit of what we call cushion bumps, so sort of cushion you, you don't, you know, don't slow you down too much. So round about left first exit. So it's leaving Austin early, so that's good. Oh, that's done. Which queue do you reckon? First. That's good, that's good. And when can you go? Um, oh, yes. That's yeah, good, that's go. good. So that can be different just because you didn't have the van behind you. That's how much pressure you can make if you get someone close behind. Yeah, it's making me feel a bit stressed. <laughs> but it's good to get used to that because you, know, you get that a lot around right here, a lot around everywhere. So I should be in third, but then I'll go too fast, it, I think. So if you break a bit, things in the road. That's it. You actually, at the moment, it's good to stand out. You can do three, but you don't have to because the hill is providing the power. Well, it's revving, that isn't the fuel being burning, it's the hill giving the power. So roundabout, we're going to go ahead. What's behind us now? The, another lorry. I was expecting a worse stop, stopping, okay. that's really good. Probably stop, but is that van going to block for us? Uh, it could do. So let's go back to two. And then go. That's okay. good. Oh, yeah, because it's not it. signalling. That's okay. good. He actually signalled there to come off, but he's not coming off. He's going in the road, in the road behind us. That's really good. So you see that you can change your mind if you're planning where you can go, break one well, actually no two. Now I know you said before I don't do that, but now you're getting better you can because you're quicker at doing that. Okay. So maybe oh okay, but this is a small car, so That car before that well, was quite freaky, you don't get many of them Porsches, they're, they're very very rare car, like four four by four. So it's so lucky you had that at the same time. Because most of the vehicles you get through there easily. So the one behind didn't know that truck. Blue car to give away. So next roundabout, which we know is there from before, we're going to go left first exit. I won't so much now, just try and get a nice, slow, smooth approach. If you stop, it's fine, but try and go when you can. So, to... That's got to be. That's it. That's good. Because remember, if you clutch it down, you're not actually in two. So I think you chose oh, two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Why is that car going to move off? Yeah, so it should be okay. That's good, that's good. Just, just a bit of braking, it's quite wide, that's good. That's it, that's fine now. That there, you see, if you go slower, it makes it easier to control. So it's not that the car gets narrow if you slow down, of course, but if you slow down, it's much easier to steer. Because some people say, what's the point to slow down if you get through, you get through. But imagine if you get someone coming towards you now doing 50 down there, that's different to the intent. Yeah, it looks totally different. Even though the width of the vehicle doesn't change. Is he pulling in or is he going through? Mm, I think he's going through. That's good. I'm just getting lost and far back then. I'm just suspicious of him because he's... Well, what's he doing that's making me a bit suspicious? Um, I'm not sure. He's going a bit slow, which is not bad. He's maybe looking for somewhere to pull up, I don't know, but... He maybe won't pull up, but he looks like he's looking to pull up somewhere. See the way he's bouncing, what does that tell you when his van's bouncing on that? Um, it's quite hard, it's, pleasant. it's hard, it's really loaded up with our boxes or whatever, so now the van's full. So he may be delivering something somewhere. Okay. Maybe not, but the way he's bouncing, he's really bouncing a lot. Mm -hmm. So the light's going to go left again. Okay. So how late could you leave the game? I think I need to do it now. Oh no, the gear, That's so... It. Oh, I can leave it still. That's a funny spider on him, isn't it? That's good. And now I should do it. That's it. Good. Now, I know sometimes you will need it earlier because you do, but that one, that one, that's good. We know if he's heavy that bad, he might be a bit slow accelerating. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Did you see those change already, did you? Yeah, oh, I did kind of as I was yeah. sort of halfway there. So that one is not about the van, that van's going so slow you kind of made a stop anyway. I'm just going to come off my pedals if you leave us down. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it to change that no. quickly. That's just about like, so it like that girl before, we said always expecting to change. Mm. But even if he looks out of the way, he was playing the wood. That's good. It's only if you're at the front, you should be able to get through. Because otherwise you'd be in trouble. It's good to look your right there as well. Because um, what could happen there? Uh, someone who's gone through when it's like yeah. orange or something. That's it. Like we did there almost. That's why I break, because if you go through an amber, that's how it looks. So, there's no one behind that van, is a long way back, otherwise it wouldn't have breaks, but this is all about roundabouts, so it's not just roundabouts, but it's the same thing. You know, it's all about approaching and... But I know, we know that car's just pulled in. It probably might open a door, you never know, but hopefully not. No, is that car going to sneak? What's going to happen now? 
So it might change. That's it, so breaking, breaking, breaking. Because those people there are definitely breaking. That's it, if they don't change, fine. Round about left again. So stand out, it looks pretty quiet, but expect it to go wrong. Expect it to swing to a pit, right? What's going to help you then? Uh, this button on my right. Oh, and, and the bus, and that's the bus. bus. That's good. So is that bus going to oh, go? No, not then, because he's going much quicker, that's different. But is that bus going to block? Yeah. That's good. Sorry, what did it do? That clutch is too quick. Just oh, turn okay. back on. Just do your clutch slow, smooth. So when can we go? Yeah, turn this bus when he comes off. You go nice, slow on the clutch, smooth away. That's good. Do more than one of them, loads of gas. That's it. Slow on the clutch, smooth away. Yeah, that's just simply more gas, less clutch. If we go next ride right on then, right? Okay. This one? That's it. Get those lights fine, so you just start to go on with it fast. Right, this is where we can I still remember. So oh yeah. Which way does the road actually go? It's going to bend left. No, no right. Oh, right. Okay. Because if you go that, we cross lines. So that will be a turn. Oh, that's what I did last that's time. It. Okay. Yeah, they're pulling off of the roundabout. We'll go over later on because you can see a big problem now, but it's just doing it smoother. That will happen probably on the big ones because when you do big roundabouts, people tend to stall behind them. You may not, but if you do, it doesn't matter. Just for now. Okay. So, end of the road, we go right. Slow down one. She can't go into. She's too way too fast. So looking, can we go? Mm -hmm. yep. So what tells you that's the end of the road? Um, Apart from me saying end of the road, right? I don't know because there was no lines. <laughs> so we're going to the road left now because this one of our lines we teach us. So we'll go and pull up in a bit and we'll go over there. So we can't pull up just yet, but further on we'll pull up, um, much, much further on, and we'll go over those things. We'll go and work on the moving off. So when I say it doesn't matter on the roundabouts, of course it does, but I mean, it, it doesn't matter if you stall. It shouldn't, because no one should hear you. But that's what can happen if you stall too often, or too much. Okay. So we're going to go straight on until we get to where the hill goes up, which is about 30 seconds away or so. I was hoping you do, because that was a good time to change. You see again, we change gear, but not the speed. So you don't have to speed up because you change gear. You speed up, then change gear. You don't change it, then speed up. So that's why it's, it's often safe to, speed, to change gear. So we're going to pull up on the left, just after the blue car, but before the black car. Okay. So you should. Yeah, there as well, because there is that little road with a van just went into, but it's, it's not really a road, it's more a driveway, it's that houses, so that's okay, because as long as no one's coming out of there, people won't think you're going in there. Um, yeah, so the moving off we're going to do on this road, because you can see it's quite steep. The other one wasn't really steep at all, but it makes you jump, because when he jumps that bad, what's that? So that was mm, the clutch too quick, yeah. but and not enough power? Maybe? That's it, just do the same as you normally, if you try and do it quicker to go quicker, you won't, you'll stall. So it's got to be the same as you normally do, gas clutch smooth, go. Yeah, if you do give more power, you will get more. Well, this isn't exactly true, but it's the way of thinking about it. If you run the gas more, it, it doesn't, but it does in a way, it kind of makes clutch stronger because it gives you more to play with. If you're trying to move off line now with no gas like this, there's nothing to play with, you've got no power to use. If you're revving, you'll pull away instead of stalling more often than not. Okay. So it's much better to rev and go than jump and stall because that didn't happen there, of course, but what can easily happen if you do stall? Do they could have, if like, they could have hit me because yep. they. I was going to be going. That's it. So that's why you never go with the van next to you. Because when you stand that van next to you, it's helping. How's he helping? Or she, she, whatever. That van was next to us. Well, I thought if they're going, then it must the it must be like they're in the way. So they're like blocking the road. Yeah, but if they get everyone get hit, you're going to hit as well because they'll get smashed into you. So okay. the blockers don't exist on the right. They don't work next to you. They're what you call shields, but they're not blockers. This is what I go on to on the big roundabouts. I draw this, this diagram there. Because the, this is one reason we move on to the big ones, so you get to see all these different things happening. The ones coming round are we call blockers. Like ones from here, like the bus coming from ahead will be a blocker, because they're blocking. Mm -hmm. But this one, this one next year, 
is what we call a shield, which isn't the same thing. So a shield, you can go at the same time, but could you see around that man or through no. that man? No. So if you can't, don't go, because if he gets you wrong, imagine you both move off together. You get it, well, they get it wrong. They move off, they stop, you go, smash. The thing they just saw like a bike, smash straight through you. Mm -hmm. Had that this roundabout the other week, it was a push bike, can fly now from this way, and if I hadn't seen him, he was going about like, 40 odd on a push bike. So you've got to really be careful on that one, on well, any roundabout. So, you can go if they go at the same time as you, and if they keep going, if you shoot, if you can see round or through them. If you can't see, wait for them to go, then go just a little bit after. Because if you start to move at all, like before, the car behind thinks you're going to go, and they could hear you. Okay. I've had that happen several times on lessons when people just moved off, and then they move off, they change mind, they like smash, you get the car behind straight to the back of your car. It's therefore because they were too close, they shouldn't have done that, but they assume you're going to go. Mm -hmm. The last person who did that got out and he said, I thought you were going to go. I said, well, no, we're not. So, yeah, that's to avoid that whole problem. You don't want that to be on you. It is their fault because the day have gone into you, but you don't want to have the crash in the first place. Yeah. Um, so, shields you got on the roundabout we're doing later on, so we'll draw this a little bit, kind of zoomed out a bit. The one we're doing in a bit, which will help with all this, you get three lanes like that. So, imagine if they all get it wrong, all three go together and all three crash. So, like, they could go, they go. A busted that one that's smashing to you, then you hit them, you can all be bad. So, shields you got to be careful with. What kind of vehicle would be better than the van as a shield? What is definitely going to block the roundabout? Like a bus or a lorry yeah, or that's something. Because even if they get hit, you don't want them to, but imagine a lorry gets hit, there's no way a car is going to push a 40 ton truck onto you. They're going to get hit, you probably wouldn't even know. You drive off, you wouldn't even know the truck's been just crashed, apart from mm -hmm. the massive bang. Um, so, trucks you can, lorries you can. But vans are okay, but it's got to be a really long van, you've got to be able to see around the front a bit to begin with. Um, so there's quite a lot to go over there, but it's not like we didn't mention before, but shields are what you, do, you come on to on, on these big roundabouts. Um, yeah, the moving off is just smooth, we're going to work on the moving off now. Okay. The other one was the other thing I was going to talk about the lights. So it's suspect like that truck behind. Imagine that lorry's on the roundabout now, you go, no, it's blocking the roundabout, because that's much longer than the van. That's a good example of it. Shield there, it's got panic on the back of it, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's what we don't want to do. Um, so yeah, the lights, um, what does amber mean? So I think we went over lights briefly in the past, but we didn't actually, we haven't done like a whole lesson on them. But um, so if it's amber, well, it'll be like go, it's gonna, it means it's gonna change, yeah, that's it. So you get steady amber or steady amber, which what does that mean? It's like a solid, steady um, amber. I have to think because. There's a flashing one, is that or yep. which way around does it go? Is Think it of it like a hand, or does it look like if it's solid and flashing? It's man that makes sense, but it's supposed to look like a hand. So if a hand's flashing, or a hand's solid, what would that mean? Um, if it's flashing, that means it's going to go to green. Yeah, because he's like waving you through, saying come through, like that, come through. If it's solid, it's saying stop. Does it like a hand saying stop, like a solid hand, as opposed to a hand waving you through, like that. So that's what it's supposed to look like, that's the idea. Okay. Um, so if it's flashing, go as long as no one's crossing, that's okay. If it's solid, stop if you can. Do they but always do that? Because I swear, like, I've not seen flashing ones. There are, no, there are different, yeah, there's, there's different kinds. Um, you don't need to know different kinds, but there's about four or five types. You get pelicans, puffins, toucans, uh, zebras, all different kinds. Some of them, they go red and amber together. They don't have a flashing oh, or yeah. solid build because it's a different kind of lights. Sometimes they're broken. There is one round here where it goes red green, the amber's gone, it's broken. Oh. They might have replaced it now, but there isn't an amber. So there is an amber, but it's gone, the bulb's gone. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to have a look at that. There won't be loads of lights, but there will be some on the way around. But the lights with roundabouts, what do you say you have to plan to do all the time? Um, so you should be ready to stop. Yep. Yeah. As long as it doesn't matter if it's roundabouts, <coughs> traffic lights, whatever, you always plan to stop. Same thing, it's the same. Um, same technique. Like now when you move off, you can't stay well ahead, so you plan to stop, mm -hmm. you know, almost straight away. You might actually move off and have to stop before you even got too far. But just imagine that you're around about to see if I'm going to get ready to go. There's quite a bit of theory there we're going to go and put down to practice. Right, so imagine you get the pedals ready. Mm -hmm. so, right. so clutch That's it. But when you go, don't rush it, so you'll move off as you normally would. More gas just before you go, oh. that's it. But then clutch the same as you normally do. So let's see, can we go? Okay. Yeah, I think we can. That's good. So, so more any need to indicate anything? No. No. More gas. That's good. And then clutch a little bit up. That's it, nice and turn away. So what do you think of that? 
That was a good part from yeah. the roll back. That's it. So pull up on the left just over here somewhere. Any need to indicate? No. no. <laughs> I mentioned the signals because around here it's actually quite hard to see for me because I'm on, totally on the bend. On, on this side of the car, I can't see on the bend. That's good. So if ever you can't see, because you can but I can't, you might decide to indicate if you can't see what's coming up behind you. So that's a pretty good lot better. How did you get rid of the roll back? Um, the clutch should have been higher. That's it. So how much higher? Um, I don't think too much higher. I think that's it. it's just like a little bit. That's it. Tiny bit. Well, let's just carry on. We're just going to head our way over towards the larger round of yeah, The topic we do doesn't matter. It's the skill we're looking at. So the topic we're changing a bit, but that doesn't really change too much. But you've already done some today with multiple lanes, so it's the same thing. So, it's like that. That's, that's good. Thing. And then that's good. I should have maybe that's indicated. Good. That's good. What was that? Um, there's that's there's good. Um, that's it. So go, 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 go. That's good. That's it. So gas, go, 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 go. That's good. So that van's not slow down in this way. He's a long way back, so that's no problem. It's bad like if the black one pulled out. I was like, no, you're going to be in trouble there. That was good. So planning ahead, what's coming up? Um, roundabout. Yep, we're going to go roundabout left first exit. Okay. How was the view on this one? Uh, yeah, it's quite yep, that's good. That's good. So, so. A signal, try with two. Can we go? Mm, no. So, no. That's good. Can we go there? Yeah. That's good. That's it. I was only hoping a little bit there because that bum is getting a little bit closer behind. That's good. So it's that one we tried to end it up in one, there's no rush. I know the memory might feel rushed, I don't know how it does feel, but it, it shouldn't feel rushed at all, it should feel smooth, can't control. No, that was okay actually. That's it. That's up our ladder being controlled, so you'll accelerate away, but not too much. What you shouldn't have is that when you're still, then you get a wheel spinning away, racing down the road, so like a slow approach, faster exit, but not flying down the road, kind of slowly building us. Well, not slowly, but progressively building up speed. Still only, I think there's about 16,000 below that, which is not much at all you know, compared to what you'll be like another 16 odd hours from now. So we head over towards where this large roundabout is. We won't do the other bit I mentioned, the one where we went the wrong way before, that will come in some other lesson we'll go there. But um, we're going to get this looked up. So that's quite, it looks calm, good view, what could you do? Uh, oh, four. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Go straight. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's go. Because I want to take away any limits, like having to be straight doesn't matter. You've got to be able to do pretty much anyway. Okay. Ideally, not on the bend, I know, but not much gas now. Because before you need to virtually not. Ideally, you don't change on the bend, but at times you have to. What are we doing today when you might have to change on the bend? Um, all the roundabouts. Yeah, that's sorry, it. Yeah. So the bigger one, you will have to change on the bend. Because if you don't, you'll be going around screaming on that, like the engine knows. So, the end of the road, there's a roundabout. Sorry, there's pops also. The end of the road roundabout will go right. I'll help this one a bit because it's a bit awkward again, but then we get to the big ones. So, what do we do? Oh, okay. Nice. Yes. Good or bad view? Uh, yep. So, leave it your light. Let's go. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Which gear now? That's it. When can we go? Uh, you there, turn and see. Yep. Can you see all the way down the road? No. no. That's good. So, once you can screw so you can see all the way down. That's good. Okay. That's good. Yeah. That's no. good. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Thank you very much. That's good. That's it. Oh yeah, that's yeah. it. Because they're on our left, it's good. You're looking that way. Someone doesn't. But that was good. It's only in the big ones are easier. Cause you're not going to have that where you're sort of looking immediately to your left. That's a good speed as well. You got a nice and brisk there. There's no, no delay. That's something about getting away quick, but not flying down the road. So next hazard. Um, the lights. Yep. So chance of them changing. Uh, small. That's not it. Very much because. That's people. good. We never say no way because you can never say that for definite. But yeah, that's good. Even some like you saw before, they went green and red within ten seconds or so, less than that. Yeah, that was very quick. <laughs> it's easier for me because I know these roads. I know exactly how long they take to change and all that. But you know, I also I've got to pretend I don't know them because they can change anyway. Yeah, the timing can change. So next hazard is what? 
Um, the roundabout. Yeah, I'm just going to get a lift first exit on the roundabout. Okay. So where's the only place we give way to now? Uh, where is the right? Second, sorry, um, I'm not sure. Let's get just the black one, so they're going to turn to be good. Let's get so those are easier because you're only giving way to a head. Yeah, because we're turning in. And they're setting that black one turning in front of us. It's fine. So we're going to choose a safe place to pull up somewhere on this road. There's no rush anywhere. Good. It might be towards the end. It could be around here or something. Preferably on the left as well. But it can be on the right. It's up to you. Okay. Just let me know when you find one. Or you can see one. Not around here because there's too many <laughs> um, roads coming in. It's going to be good. Um, on the hill, maybe? Yeah, that's good. Because I think it's a hill, it's not much. If it's just before this white line, it'll be good. Okay. That's good. So it's all in context to what's going on around us as well. There's no one around at all, so it's good to see all. Um, that car ahead's parked a little bit wide, that silver one. But that's not too bad even on the bend because it's quite a long bend. Not brilliant, but it's okay. If it was parked close, it'll be better. But you can see enough to um, to, to, to yeah, just all go around without having any, any big problems. Right, so I'll leave it turned on just because again it's warm and the air comes on. Um, what do you want to go over from that so far? There anything in particular that's come up? Um, so maybe actually the, the pulling away. I, it was okay the second time, but it really surprised me when I stalled it. Then I just wasn't yeah. expecting to. Yeah, the one is you don't rush it because if you rush it, it will stall. Like if I try and move off quick in a panic, you'll stall. Mm -hmm. You know you're not panicking, but like that's what happens when you start doing roundabouts. People naturally want to go and pull away and get on with it. But if you do that, you'll just stall and it gets worse and worse. If you do slow it, like take two seconds longer to leave your clutch, you'll be down the road instead of stalling, you'll be way down the road. So where the flats are, I mean, probably not, not that far away, but you could be like where that sign is in the very distance, the giveaway sign. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, the giveaway sign. Um, you'll be there instead of still being here turning back on. So if you take a little bit longer to move off, you actually get going much quicker. Rather than if you try and do the moving off quicker, you just stall and end up getting nowhere. So if I do do that, what should I do? What's that? Like if I did stall it? If you stall the moment, you just break? check what's going on behind. Because if that car behind was moving off, you probably wouldn't break. What you would do is just clutch down. It, it depends because there's so many variables here. But mm -hmm. you imagine the roundabout's dead and you could go if you just stalled. You just stall, clutch down, roll, turn back on, go. The okay. car beyond probably wouldn't hit you. If you stall, brake, smash, that's the car beyond going straight through you. Because you brake, stop dead straight away. Some cars here, it depends on the car, but I th this one's okay, I think, but I'm not sure because I can't see it when we stall from outside. But if you stall and brake, the engine is off, so sometimes the lights don't come on. They probably would, it depends on the car. But if you brake, sometimes you'll stop dead with no lights at all. Okay. So no one knows you're even going to stop. I think they come on, but I've never got to stall in the outside of the car when it's been stopped. But um, it depends on your car. Um, yeah, so anything else apart from the moving off your own over? Because there's something about down that many roundabout, probably what you think could be better about that before you go into the big ones. You know the last one where we turned right and you just, where we were looking to give way? But you didn't have to. To the left, That's it. yeah. So they go over that now because this is still a lot of the big roundabouts, we'll still get stuck at that. It doesn't matter if we don't, but this is just around the corner from there. But what we're trying to do is, if something goes wrong, fix it, rather than move on to something else and ignore what went wrong. This is that test I mentioned about, this is what I'm, I'm marked on. If I kind of say to you, it doesn't matter, we'll carry on. That's when I lose my, well, lose my job. So, imagine you're coming out from here, and there are two lanes. So you kind of skew it from there somewhere. somewhere. Um, the first, one of the first things I said was, could you see <laughs> all the way down the road? Because you were saying about going, but then just you said that, and I said, can you see that van, that van sort of camper van thing, was, whatever it was going from the right. Mm -hmm. So if you can't see all the way down, don't go. Because you can see to about here. Yeah. You couldn't see too far. Um, these ones on the left, how do they bother us? Because they can actually bother us in a way. What could they do that could help us? Um, it, to help us, they could yep. go here. That's it. So they got like that block. But what's the problem with that when they block like that? Why is that awkward on the mini roundabout? Imagine the car is like that, it's pretty much the scale that is well you know, with the small roundabout. So when they're like that, how long are they going to be blocking? Oh, yeah, not very long. That's it. So you've got to go, which sounds bad, but it's this way of thinking about it, another way of doing it. You've got to kind of head for the back of their car. So you move like that, 
so when they're here you'll be there for a little side by side like that if you wait to the blocking then you go this one will be going they'll hit you this particular roundabout there are lots of crashes on because i live just around there at the moment um, and every day you come there's glass every time you come past there's glass on the floor uh, where people have pulled out to smash I've even been in my house and heard people crash it. <laughs> you have the window open, you're going to smash it and goes that damn round the again. So you kind of roll, roll, they go round, you creep out, like that. But you've got to be careful. What are they probably going to do wrong? What do most people, how do most people do many roundabouts? Because you know that one we had the other week where we sat watching people do it wrong? Yeah, they were, they were not turning around it, they yep. were just going over it. So you could be, you plan to go, they plan to go like that, hit. Again, they're fought because they're going to hit head on, but you don't want to have the crash in the first place. Mm -hmm. So you wait till they go past signalling, then you go around. The danger is sometimes they'll signal right, they'll change their mind, actually, will go that way. And then you're completely stuck. Okay. That, that's quite rare. So they're going to do another one now, which is exactly the same as that. Um, so when you look left, what could there be here that could that would make you stop? Because if I do, there could be something that would make you slow down and stop. Like what could be going wrong? So if like they stall, then they what, can't what, block. What could they be doing like a car, but say what kind of vehicle would be coming down that you might have to keep way to? Even if you shouldn't, what, if something's flying down the hill here, what kind of vehicle would not be able to stop in time? I mean most wouldn't be able to, but especially what kind would have trouble braking. Like a... No, what I don't know. I was going to say a bus. Yep, so buses, that's it. Because you get buses now, this thing is, this is our talking here, I know, but this here is the 20 zone, but no one takes any notice of it at all. So there's no point in pretending they don't, they just come flying down, not 40 odd. So if you get a bus flying down 40, you can't pass that, we should have stopped because you'll be dead before they went here, you're dead straight away. So you look right, look left. If it's just a bus slowing down, fine, if it's in 20, fine. But if they're steaming down, flying down the road, you're not going to play in front of a double ticket bus. So you kind of creep, creep, let them go. The one behind should slow down, and then you go. This is a bit awkward, this what we're doing today. We, we don't have to get to the big ones. We probably will, but if we don't, that doesn't matter. This is the main thing we need to go over. So we creep out, creep out, looking left. But if you creep too long, you make them stop. You make them go, I mean, because they think, oh, you're not going to go. I'll right, just go. And I'll just keep thinking, oh, I don't know you, I'm going to go. So you've got to put out positively, but not so fast that they can't break. So like that, they could still break, they could still go. You've got both options open, and then you go. So, the thing is, you don't have to go right to left, but you must look left and take a note what's there. So let's go and give it a go. I'll talk to them to begin with, because these are harder ones, I'll say, the, the big ones are a little bit easier. But uh, let's try a few laps of this, then we'll move on to the other ones. Okay. Turn these off, it's going a bit dark. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so imagine you're around about now. So, try balancing it to begin. That's good. So imagine looking to the right, you see his blocker coming from the left, the block and now, so we go. That's it, then gas go through. That's good, that'll be okay. But sometimes even that wouldn't be quick enough for like rush out, you've got to be really quick to get out. So like more gas, would That's it. Be? Or... So end of the road, right. Yeah, we'll go for that when um when then it comes up. So get no markings, but can we go? That's good because the one before and it said how could you at the end, that wasn't as clear, but that one is clear, it's got a quite good view, there's nothing wrong with that. Whereas the other one was quite a bad view. So roundabout right, this is the one I'm trying to do. Okay. So terrible view, we said that loads of, loads of danger, which gear would it be? Uh, we want to be in first. That's it, so slow down, slow down, not yet. Ooh. So gear but not yet. So slow down, just clutch down, clutch down, so. then you'll do one now, then you creep. So not the gear at all very late, but creeping. Okay, so mainly looking right, but it's good to look at left. Okay, if they come from the left, they won't block for long enough. That's good balance. So when can we go? Um, I think I'll yeah, do that's that. it. So we keep pretty straight. That's good. No, no. That's fine. Yeah, so I ask that question, so I'm actually confusing, because when I say which gear, it is one, but not then. Because if you do it then, it's too late. If we ask when you get there, it can be too late for you to answer. That's why I asked really early. Oh, okay. So if we go round about right, not too much gas. So, where exactly are we giving way to now? Um, the front. No, just the right, not ahead. Don't give way to us. So, breaking, breaking, breaking. Breaking now to two. Is he going to stop though? No. 
you know, so break off from all fours, that's good. And then break off, two's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, she's good. Slip, slow, that's it, slow, 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 big turns. That's good. The lorry just didn't give way. You should have, but he didn't. But why do you think that was? Because I was hesitating. Not so much our fault, but why would that lorry not be able to give way? Um, if it's going too fast. Yeah. That lorry, like, the, that's, mass, that's the biggest truck you can get in this country, pretty much. So that's a massive way. He's going up a hill. He doesn't want to give way. I know he should have, but he didn't. Because a lot of people say, oh, we should have given way, but he didn't. So it's no point putting in front to smash and then saying in hospital, he should have given way. So that was good. But you see, the second was still good, even that late, too, was still good. Because what was helping you to move there, something was helping you pull away. That wouldn't be helping you now, it's the opposite now. Oh, it was downwards. Yeah, so if you're down the hill, that's fine. You can leave in two, roll the way in two, it's fine. Uphill, that would not work at all. So around the end of the road, right, right, right. So when you get there, which gear? So the first one. That's it. <laughs> so, break it, clutch, break it, break it. Turn to one, break off. That's good. It did work in second before, nothing wrong with that, but that's just so you know about the way off road, is it? What I should have said is when you get to the roundabout, which gear? Instead of which gear. So when you get to the roundabout, which gear will it be? Um, probably. Not sure, first probably. That's it, terrible view, rubbish view, so. Okay, so. Yeah, maybe not yet, maybe, so it's so not. Brake clutch. Down to one. Oh shit. That's it, sorry. That's good, that's it. Um, and then, that's it. Sorry. Then what needs to be done now? Oh, right, so, guys, well, that's it. so they're coming in, but can we go, do you think, or not? Uh, no. Nope. Should I balance now? Or? Not just yet, because if you stop, you might as well stop. Because you've got a good view anyway. Can we go? Uh, right, now. Yeah, that's good, that's good. That's it. That's fine, here comes the rain. That's good. So these lights now, what colour would it be? Because I was going to say, what colour would you be the next one? So flash that number, what's that saying? Um, it's going to go in a minute. Yeah, that's it, that's good. So it's not saying come through. So we're saying two for this, we're going to go roundabout right. So where's the only place that we give my to? Like right. any around, that's it. Right. So you're not ahead unless it's like the truck that didn't stop. So we do that's because that helps all them head. The black one will go, it should be fine. Okay, so. Just breaking, no clutch, just breaking. Can we go? Yes. Yep, still breaking, 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 but it can't turn. Why do you think I'm stressing there no clutch? It's um, not because you do it wrong, but what, what would happen if you did that? When the clutch comes back up, it will like jump a bit because yeah, I'm not changing it. Yeah, massive bang, boom, and shakes all over. You don't want to be doing that on a busy road like that. So that's good, your clutch stayed up. Like now, um, see how much you can break with the clutch still being up. So let me know when you've reached the limit. Now. That's good. <laughs> That's it. That's what we do. So Sam's on the approach to the roundabout. If you do that, it's really smooth. That's good. Okay, this is the skill you need for the bigger roundabout. So we'll move on to that very soon. But these are all the skills you need to do that one more. Or to do any bigger roundabout. It's not just this roundabout we're going to do. Um, it's just that there aren't many big roundabouts around here. So we just got stuck doing the same thing. So end of the road, right, it's up to you. Down, what should I do? Um, I'm gonna That's change it. That's if you didn't change to one, that would stall because you have to. Once you've gone down the clutch, you send, you're telling the car I'm gonna come down to one. If you don't, bang. Because that would be going up here, the hill's pulling hard against you. So we're round about right. I wouldn't say much on this one, but I might hold a bit. Right now the lorry didn't stop because you get still it looks like people don't. There's a bus we're talking about. <laughs> this is apparently Europe's busiest bus route, there's one every four minutes. So you need to there's another one. You also get buses coming up, or three buses. Um, you get a like, big stream of buses coming up the hill and down the hill all day. So roundabout we're gonna go right again. Do you want any help with this or do you want to do it anyway? Uh, I'll try to do it. That's good. <laughs> so actually maybe I can go. So I push the brake a little bit. Anything there from flying up? That's good, that's great. There was nothing there then, but it's just that uh, it's just getting thinking you always look for something flying up like a bike. Quad bikes you get around here quite a bit, I've seen motorbikes coming up the road, that kind of thing. So we 
going to pull it further on, we'll start looking at the larger roundabouts. So you probably find the large ones, I don't want to say easier, but they're different because they've got their own difficulties. But, so where's best to pull up with that bird? Um, uh, I want to pull up where they that's are. It, that's from this, this good, is it? Oh, yeah. That's good. I know we are close to that road on the right, but it's very quiet. No one's ever really well, there's a bus behind it. That's good. It's all in context now, so it's quiet now you've got a bus in the lorry. <laughs> but, yeah, but we're not blocking them because that lens blocking them anyway. So the lorry can still get out, the bus isn't stuck. If you were in the way now, we could have moved off, but we're not. It should be pretty much okay there. Um, yeah, so if you wouldn't plan like this on a busy road, but it's not normally a busy road, it's just, um, just a, things appear at once. Morning. So anything on those you want to go over before we move on to the larger ones? What do you think the last one and the last two you did? Because I didn't really stand much on those. The last two were okay, but before, yeah. what was I doing? The changing gear at the wrong time? That's it. And then clutch down. Yeah, just go over that because that, early. the sim got said there, that's not exactly true, but it's the way of thinking about it. And if you put the clutch down, what are you telling the car? I know the car can't really think in the way, but what are you saying to it? Are you going to change gear? That's it. So if you go down and up, it doesn't think like this, but it's kind of thinking what you're doing because you've told me you're going to change, now you're not, now you are, now you're not, it's confused. That isn't what happens, it's not more mechanical than that. But that's the way of thinking about it. So if you go clutch down, it's best for now if you sort of break, completely slowing down, and then get one, even if you don't need it. You think, well, I've done the clutch, so I might as well slow down, come to one, and then do it. Because if you put the clutch down, you probably didn't need one anyway, as you did because you know, because you're coming to a busy junction. If you come to turn the road second with your clutch up, what's that telling the car to do? Second. Nothing, like go. Yep, it's saying go. So if you come to roundabout clutch of two, like this little one that is, this mini roundabout, you wouldn't want to be coming to this in second. You can, but if you're being pulled quite quickly, even though you've got no pedals, you'll pull quite quick. Um, anything comes to the light at all, you're in big trouble because you've got a clutch down, brake hard, the car behind could hit you, one, you're going to roll back, whatever. It's all awkward. So the key on this one is I don't want to say always do one, but 90% of the time you would. Um, the thing with roundabouts to consider, which comes in now on the big one, is even though you're coming up to it, it might be you've got right of way, you can see to your right nothing's coming down at all. If you can fly up, it doesn't give these people any chance at all of seeing you. So even though they should give way, if you can fly up like that, not that you do, but if you did, they've got no chance of seeing you at all, because you're not giving them a fair chance. So you must kind of roll up, present yourself to the traffic in a way, so they'll come here, and then you go. Like that. So there is a lot to go over, I said around about, it takes about 14 hours, remember, it takes a long time to go over, uh, so it takes a long time to do it all. But, do you want to try any more on that or do you want to move to the big ones? It doesn't matter either way, because we can do whatever you need to work on. Uh, maybe move to the big ones. I, yeah. I kind of, like, a lot of the time I know what, or some of the time I know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. I just... There's not much wrong, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. The bigger one is only going to be the bigger one, then back to this one anyway. So you'll still get to try these, because there's a bigger one a couple of times, and back to these. It kind of goes up and down the road, up and down, up and down. So I'll go over this now, I've got this picture I can show you. So this is called the Maypole Roundabout, because it's got a Maypole on it, and people go dancing around whatever. Um, which is this one. So. There are two kinds of larger roundabout. Today we're only looking at this one. <coughs> the other car will come in probably next one or the one after, because that's a different um, a different kind of roundabout altogether. So on this one, now you've already actually done this without knowing you've actually done this before. With not this roundabout, but you've done all the skills, you've got all the skills you need to do all this. So if you're coming up to the roundabout from this way, which will be the first way that we do, mm -hmm. which is the best line to go ahead? Because you notice there's more than one that goes ahead. So which will be the best? feel like it should be the middle That's one. it, because I don't think we mentioned this much, but we said about when you've got a choice, which one's best? Like if there's a choice of speed bumps, as we mentioned before, there's like a left one and a middle one, which one's the best one to go over? If they're both mm. available. Middle one? So that left one, so it's as far left as you can. So that one's in the middle line there, but mm. if there are two lines, it's as far left as you can, because the furthest far, far left is the best one. So the saying is left is best. So you give as far left as you can at all times. Just imagine that one also goes that way. It doesn't. We'll come back to that in a sec. But imagine that one does go ahead, and that one goes ahead, same road. When would you choose that one to go the same way as that one? When would that one be better than that one? It's assuming we haven't covered it all yet, but no idea what that one will be. So maybe if you want to 
be in the right lane when you come out here. Yeah, but what else? That's good. What if there's only one? That's a good answer. That, but what, when might you we might yeah, yeah when might you want to go in that one? Like what could it be here that you'd want to go around? Oh, something slow. Yep. Yeah, so if it's a truck, bus, whatever, okay. you're overtaking the right. So the right is generally for overtaking. Now that one, when he says ahead, it doesn't actually mean that one. Where do you think it means? Um. That's it. One? That's it. Now that one I call right, but it says ahead. So ahead is anything, like we said last time, a funny shape. One. It's ahead is anywhere from like here to there. It's in front of you. So pretty much anywhere in a 180 degree sweep can be classed as ahead. Some sounders will even score that ahead, fourth exit, which isn't ahead at all. It's just back on yourself. But mm. they'll say ahead, so it's confusing. So for the moment, we're not overtaking because to do that, you've got to be quick, fast. You've got to know all you've got to know about roundabouts. If you're in that lane and you go slow, people here should not be going faster than you because then you'd be an undertaker, which is not good. So if you undertake someone right under that's passing on the left as opposed to passing on the right, you shouldn't be undertaking. So forget for now about overtaking, that comes in later on. Um, that comes in the very end. Uh, the more what we end up doing you know, on the sort of final lesson or so, it's all about overtaking, being more positive on roundabouts. But for the moment, left is best. So you look at the left lane, does that go the way I want? No. Does that one? Yeah. So you come up looking at it from left to middle to right. Try and avoid thinking the middle lane goes ahead, so I use that one. Because if that one's available, that would be better. So okay. left is best. But that doesn't go ahead. So next one available is the middle one. So for the middle lane, which lane would you go onto on the roundabout? The furthest left. That's it. One, this one. That's it. Now that one, although it's called left, I'll call it left, it's actually middle, because it's left, middle, right. So there's still three lanes. So it's middle lane to middle lane. Okay. So you always go, not always, but generally, left to left, middle to middle, right to right. If you remember that, you can save yourself hours and hours of lessons, because loads of people have trouble with this, go middle to right, right to middle, left to middle. You never mix them up, it's left to left, middle, middle, right, right. Or one, one, two, two, three, three. Doesn't matter what system you use, A, B, you know, A to A, B to B, C to C. You can name whatever you want. It's the same to the same. You don't mix them up at all. There are exceptions as always, but that comes in towards the very end. Um, so you've got middle to effectively, so it's still the middle. And then you simply signal left, mirror signal left. Which mirror must you do? Like I mentioned last time we started bringing this in, didn't we? So it'd be the middle one and the left one. That's it. Very rare, I know anyone will be there. But when you move off here, someone could try and race through there. Okay, you're up. Not on this one, they probably won't, they can, but not very often. So you check the mirror, even when you move off, if someone's racing through, what do you want to do? Like if, you, if you're moving off and you see someone tearing up here. Um, so you look in your mirror yep. and then you'd slow down if there's no one like behind you, so That's you it. just let them... That's it. How would you slow down? Because you don't really want to break, that would be too fast. But so, so just like, take your foot off the go. Yeah, that's it. See, my moving off, car there, gas off, let them go, gas back on. Just by doing that, they'll go. Hopefully that won't happen because you won't get much on this particular one, but you will later on at other angles. Um, judging when to go, same as before, but it's a little bit hard, a little bit easier and harder. There's more room between each junction, but how can you tell where they're going to go? Like this blue one, do you see with the reflection there? But how could you see, or how could you tell where that blue one's going to go? Apart from signals, what else could they, what, what clue are they giving you there as to where they're going to go? So like that position in the road. Yep, so if they're close to the roundabout, where are they probably going to go? So they're going to go somewhere more like round here, That's it. not so to the left. That's it. If that blue one, where are they probably going to go? Um, they're going to go here, I That's think. That's it. But they could, they shouldn't, but they could if they're being awkward go round. Sometimes people go round and round like that in the outside lane, the far left lane, looking for where they're going. So. That's why it's easier and harder. It's easier because they should just come off and if you're here you can pull out. But they might come whipping around with no warning. But you'll get used to this the more we do. So you've got their signal, their position. What else could you tell by? Maybe their speed That's as well. That's it. There's all three of the things we do on the mirror signal, position, speed, look. So the position, the signal and the speed. If they're going flying around fast, um, well, say that white one there, which one, if I did that one, that white car is accelerating fast. Mm -hmm. Where are they probably going? It's all probably because you don't have sure, but which way will they probably go if they're accelerating? I think about the roundabout, if you're going faster, you're more likely yeah. to go round or coming up. I feel up. like, oh, I think coming off. Yep, yeah, because you wouldn't go round flying around, you're not going to make either skid off the road. So most people accelerate when they come off. Like I was saying, you really want to accelerate away. Mm -hmm. So you go around reasonable speed, accelerate off. But some will do all wrong, they'll be in the wrong lane, not signalling, and they'll come flying around and go around, 
so you can't always tell but that's what we're going to work on today getting your seacan tool um, the stripe lines what do I mean where these lines are we've had these before but we haven't done them on roundabouts before stripey lines there like hatch markings given the proper name so like you're not meant to cross no. yep yeah, that's is it, it? So you're not meant to because them. they're broken. What does that tell you? Um, if you have to, you can. Yep. So when might you need to do that? You probably won't stay, but when would you? I mean, you come around here. What could force you into that lane? Well, not a lane, but what could force you into that area? Like a car that takes up yep. more than its space. That's it. So they go along where they force them around aggressively. You've got to go in because it's that way you get crushed. So. You don't want to go in and try and avoid going in. Try and keep it so you're close to that white line there. And you can't see that one on this diagram, but there's a white line being painted around there. So you keep in the lane, but don't go out of the lane. If you go in there, you're in no man's land, because then the one behind you here, imagine they go in there, you might go around them and you think where they're going. Then the no man's land runs out and you're not the blue one. So you're coming out of no man's land, it's in trouble, because yeah. you don't know where they're going to go. They've got nowhere to go. So it's the other ones that you go round and round. Um, we did last time do it about counting the exits, so we did it on this one. So from there, where will the fifth exit be? So we go right, actually right fourth exit on this one will be. Fourth, um, one. That's it. Okay. So as you go around and you count them out loud, I'll to go through all this to begin with because there's a lot to remember. So you go past one, past two, past three. So you pass three. Remember, if you can't come off, what do you think you could do? So if someone's blocking you and they're, they're stopping you from coming off, you see someone on the side of you there. You go round again. Yep, so round again and they come off next time. Which sort of makes it hard to camp, but you can sort of look for a landmark like a, a pub or hotel or whatever and sort of aim for that next time. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So there is more to go over, we're going to go and get some driving done now because you could talk about this for an hour or so. I'm just going to go and give it a go. So I'll help to begin with, I'll say everything to begin with, apart from maybe I think you work out like with um, the mirrors sitting on mine, I mentioned much because you work out with the mirrors, but I'll talk about the rest, about the lanes and all that. We're going to go ahead, we come round, go right, then ahead, right, just go round, around, 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 around until you're used to those. Okay. Just out of interest, this building here is the test centre, just so you know. Oh, okay. So that's where you start from. We haven't been there yet, that, that's not why we do this roundabout, it's just it's like one of the few big ones there is around here. But this is where you'll be going from in about two months, well, less than two months now, so about seven weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, Right, so there's a lot to remember there, that, that takes at least two to four hours to go over all that, so don't worry about that, we'll do it over and over again. So when it's safe we'll move off, that's up to you. Um, I'll try not to speak much until we get to the, the Maypole roundabout, which is that, that big roundabout we just showed you there. Okay. Right, so, up to you. To get it a little bit better, you just did a crutch a tiny bit lower because it wasn't bad, it did pull, but you felt like a slight, um, the, the way it's like sort of resists a little bit. So it's better, which is a little bit smoother, can, be, can still be smoother. Okay. So, right, we go something. Right. Start off got to start anyway. Okay. Oh, actually, no. Oh, no, but I changed one. But is that speed okay for two still? It was, yeah, but I'd already it. put the clutch down. But that there, the thing is, you don't have to come to one, but that's why you're turning the car. See, so you didn't change the speed much, but we'll come back to the because that doesn't matter for now. If we go round about left, this is more important. Because it's good you're thinking that, that's the way I want you to think for now. So, can you say two? No. No, so, then, that's it, that's good. Because that is the best way of doing it for now, that's great. about this road you know is? Um, it's uphill. What's the speed? Oh, um, 20. That's it, so be careful on this one, just keep it nice and low. This is quite slow, there are lots of 20 zones all over the place now, but um, it's just how it is. So, what's that? <laughs> it's very yeah, easy, really. Yeah. <laughs> 20 is really slow for this road, it's, you know, not many people agree with these at all, but it's just the road is. This is when I say not many people the other way bother slowing down, because there's a speed coming the other way which tells you how fast people are going, it actually lights up. But it's not unusual to say like 40, 50 and it's 20, you know, people just totally ignore it. Um, but at the moment it's going pretty good. 
So, <coughs> the roundabout, we're going to go ahead, second exit. Okay. We'll avoid this road because at probably 20, you don't get to feel what the speed is normally like on the approach. Because it's so slow, you don't get to feel like a normal kind of rhythm. Yeah, but, fast, so, we're going to go ahead, second exit towards Solihull. Is that car behind close or not? Uh, not too close. No. Now, I know the markings are terrible here, but what can you see on the floor? Can you see the arrows or not? Uh, it doesn't help it's right, is it? A little bit, I think. Yeah, I can see it's one of them. Line. So we said middle lane, because it's really hard to see. Okay. Looking to the right, can we just go without stopping? Uh, yeah, I think. No, no, yeah, no that's good, no. that's it, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, that's fine. sorry, I've stopped, I'm sorry. So you're breaking, because that car was coming off, that's okay. So, I that bus is going to block, that's fine. So can okay, we go? So so we're doing left mirror, no one there, left lane. Oh yeah, we see the left about now. So it's that car behind exactly what we said, that car comes up, it's in the wrong lane. So the signal comes off, standing one for us, good. So it's man. So braking a bit, brake off for all, brake off as it. Can we get the three outside lights? Yeah, just because there's so much going on, that was good there. If we go next road on the left, we see that car behind is exactly what we said, do you want to watch out for, we cut us up when it comes off of. I might need to clutch up, that's good. I might need to down because your car's in a stupid place, but can we get past? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep, so there's no danger that car wasn't going to pass us, but he was in the wrong lane to go ahead. These bumps are pretty big to win. That's good. Because okay. I know these roads well, they're quite a bit bumps. That's good. Can you, when you go over a bump, can you change gear or not? Yep, you can be, you don't want to, because you should be done before. These aren't so bad, these are old. But, um, that's good. It is an ideal, but if you've got to do it, you've got to do it. But you shouldn't be able to change, because that means you're changing your speed at the last second. And you should be done, like, sort of, here. It's all done. So, end of the road, we'll go left. So, that roundabout, when you go, you just got to head more towards your left. The way was actually good, because once you decided to stop, that was good you stopped. You could have gone, but I didn't have time to explain why. So, yeah, you could have gone, but not I that thought bad. I did, and then I changed my mind, and yeah. I shouldn't have, I don't know. That's good, because once you start braking, that's okay. You can brake, 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 slow down. I was going to say go, because at that time you could have lifted off and gone. But this is why it takes hours and hours to do. You can't do this straight away, it's impossible. End of the road, we go left. People say I did this, you know, 10 minutes. That's rubbish, and everything in 10 minutes. <laughs> so, what do you do now? Really bad view, what do you do? So as you can need to get much, much slower because you're coming in too quick. You can't see. You can't see it will get a clutch brake. If you go next left, we're going to have a cut before we do the round of again. You might not feel too quick now, but you're getting very close to the curb. You're almost hitting the curb. Right. You're coming flying up. You're doing that look. You should be seeing roll, steer, look, 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 look. Go, okay. you see me. Because when you're looking right, you won't see that, but this tyre is right by the curb. Like, the way that van is that's how close you were. You're sort of right up against the curb and you come to the end of the road. So you're going to be much, much wider than that. I didn't push the wheel because you're not that close, so I've got to push you, but you, know, you are getting pretty close. So this one at the end, I'm going to go into the road left. Okay. We are doing a big roundabout, but not just that, that's part of what we're doing. So we're going to make this one really slow because the view is awful. Okay, so no rush for the gears, so we're doing nothing at all. So the car pulls, clutch down, not no gear, thing. steer. Now into one. That's good. And then creep. If you break, what do you need to do? If you break, you can't do it. If you break at all, you'll stop there, then roll back. So you don't want to on the roll, roll, creep it, and go. It's better to run and go flying out, but if you don't, if you break too early, you'll stop and roll back and you can't do it. So, touch down a bit. Can we go? Yeah, because that is it's where you can make it's good, but that van's there. It's got to break a bit. It's got to stop there. You just got to go much, much slower than you can make. You got to creep, creep, crawl, look, 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 look. Creep and then go. Okay. Because you just clutch that little bit high. That's it. So I'm just going to roll down this front. Do you need no pedals now? Okay. That's it. I'm just going to creep away. So you got the right idea, but it's the wrong execution. So I'll demonstrate this one at the end because this is all sound as a roundabout. This is just like approach to big roundabout, sound by looking and split attention. So he should give out, he's not. So what do we do? So stop it. That's it. Push down, break in, not some off in the curve. We want. Now he does break off all. That's good. And because you get movement going, that's good. You're showing them okay, you've seen you. So, if I demonstrate this one, so we do left on this one. I'll do my clutch, 
a break. I'm going to go to three to imagine I'm sitting third. So we steer, I'm breaking on it. So roll, roll. We've got loads of time. Looking right, left. Down to one. We've got tons and tons of time. Checking. Is we know we need the curb at all? Can we go? Yeah. So you don't have to do that slow, but that's sort of how you can do it. So you don't be rolling up if you clutch down and then get the gear and then looking quick. You should all be really slow and controlled. You can see strand You can see when you do this that you're going back on things you've done before, but that's because we are because the, the harder the roots get, the more we have to do it. Yeah, the harder it gets to, to join. So end of the road left, how good's the view on this? Um. No, that's very good. So you've got to say right down, definitely one, but not two together. You don't watch that curve, you don't get too close. Okay. So, so just signal. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Breaking. Break. More, more, more. No, you know, get no, get steer. Break off. No one. That's it. Then creep. That's good. Can we go? No. So we balance. That's really good. Oh, he's going to come in. So come me. Yeah. That's good. Okay, that is like a roundabout where that car was going to come past when the sin was going to be so by balancing, you're able to do that well. So we'll go next left, we're going to try through a little bit more. And then we'll go back to the right. right. So is it right that I shouldn't change up gear on the hill? Yeah, so no, no, this would be disastrous. If you change now, it's because we're on a car smash. Okay. So we wait till we run the car. If you change gear when you need to change gear, then no, it's not uphill, downhill bends. You change when you need to change. So now this will be a disaster if you got third because it's raining, the view's bad, the road's narrow, you've got vans parked. There's no point in getting three and zooming down the road. So even if it revs and sounds bad, which it doesn't, but if it did, it doesn't matter. Because that's not the main thing. The main thing is your speed's good and your control's good. So end of the road left, how good's the view on this? Not very good. Really rubbish. So we're gonna go really slow, roll, creep, but try not to run much at all. So we keep going for now. Clutch. Big steering, that helps us get big, 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 turn, 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 down to one, breaking a little bit of an homage. Can we go back yeah. up? That's good. That's it. That's much more controlled. The car's still there, but it's controlled. But can we get through? Okay. Yeah. Because that car is here, it's already getting minus one. The point is, you don't go out, then see the car. You see it before you go, you know it's there, and you don't have to react to it. That's good. So, end of the road, we go left. Oh, that was stupid. That's good, yeah. that's fine. Because that, that's worth doing. So we, need, we need to come back to one and not till the end. No, 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 steer. Braking, 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 braking. Really slow, steering. And then one, that's good. That's it. Can we go? Yeah. Yep. Well, this is just teach you not to risk gear because you don't need to come to one too soon. You sort of wait, look, get there. You need one, you select one, then you go. That was quick getting two, by the way, because even if the end of the road is a white car, you could still do two there, go up to one. So it's not bad, it's only bad if you go not three, no two, like that, and you don't even get to do it when you go back before you've even had a chance to use it. So end of the road left. So it sounds before, really slow, terrible view. Just see how slow you can get it. Not yet. <laughs> Was it? When's it slow enough? That's good. Yes, we That's can it. Go. The only thing about those bellies is trying to steer more or go straight on it. If you steer more, you'll slow down more. Because the reason you're rolling out a little bit quick is you're keeping the car straight, straight, the car's rolling forwards. If you turn the wheel, turn to turn, you'll grip the road and dig in and slow you down. So that turning gives you the last bit of brake you need. So it's straight on for a little bit. We will do the roundabout, but um, we're just going to, with the weather and that, the more important thing is to get the approach is good. Even here seeing one doesn't matter, because it's, it's revving doesn't matter, you're not making any, any danger. So there we go. Okay. How good is the view on this? Uh, mm, I don't know. That, that's <laughs> it, so really bad. So steering, big steer, 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 that's it. Can we go? No. Oh, maybe. Creep, that's good. Because that was steering one, no creep, no brake. Oh, okay, that's good. You don't have to brake, so I was going to say brake, you roll back, but you called that well. But when can we go? Red, so then I'll go after that. It's good you look left as well. Any people crossing the road or anything. Okay, so now I can see. That's good. I can't remember what to do. That's good, that's fine. That's good. You saw the jam before you went, that's really good. That's the point, then clutch. Down, that's it. That's going to clear. That's good, so you didn't come flying out, then see the jam, then break. That's what that's a lot better. 
this this all gives it away, but whenever I score the views dark, it's always bad because if it's really open, it's good. But you're not going to get open views around here. Even this roundabout in the moment, you'll notice as it walk inside the car, you'll notice that the roundabout is deliberately designed bad at the view. I would as well leave the roundabout because the weather's not ideal for this because you're not going to be able to see it's in the lanes. So we're going to do a bit more work on the approach that we'll do the roundabout next time. Okay. So if we keep in the left lane, and we'll turn left just after the storm. So we'll yeah. turn left just after the lights. Okay. Hi everyone, so unfortunately we had to finish that lesson a little bit earlier than planned because the weather got so bad. Um, we were going to do the roundabout with all the lanes, but the weather got so terrible with thunderstorms and floods and whatever, we had to finish the lesson a little bit early. Now, I should point out, it is actually June at the moment, so this is the summertime. Um, I did deliberately wait until the summer to film these videos. I've actually been waiting a whole year since last year to get this done, thinking last summer the weather was so bad, I'll film next summer. And unfortunately, it's just as bad. <laughs> Um, so sorry about that, but the videos will continue and you'll, you'll see us doing the roundabouts in the next video. But when it's this bad, you can't even see the markers on the floor. And on the video, all you can see is the rain on the window. So I wouldn't normally stop teaching just because it rains, otherwise I wouldn't get very far, would I? But unfortunately, we got a bit uh, thwarted by the weather today. So we'll carry on next time. Um, sorry about that, but we'll get the videos done. And I'll see you next time for the next video.